All right, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, and welcome to the stream. It seems I did not start the game. I do apologize for that, guys. It's Friday, a little bit of chaos in the morning. Oh, I just, I pressed question mark on an app and it brought up help. I don't help. Okay, I need help. No, I'm fine, I'm fine. All right, let me, um, let me check audio here. Screams, hey, Jerry, what's up? Let's see if uh, audio, in fact, is working. Sounds like it is awesome. All right, let's um, switch over here. I tell you what, I have been having some fun with Kerbal 2. Kerbal Space Program 2, I've been having fun so far. We had some minor little things yesterday, but uh, hang on, I need a, I need a drink. I'm saying I had fun. <laughs> That's empty. I got a new one right here though. I got a fresh dooski. Hang on, hang on, wait for it. Wait for it. Oh yeah, there we go. I still have stability issues. If you wanted to play a long career, but it's at least playable. I had, um, <clears throat> I had one issue to where it was my, my second to last launch to where the, um, my my orbit lines were gone and the only thing the only way i could fix it was to totally restart the game i couldn't load in a save they were still gone um what what i hope they fix or maybe a mod will fix this is that when you stage when you hit the space bar unless you have a ball peen hammer and you're smashing it it seems like there's some delay there or game lag or, or something i don't know electro how you doing uh, uh. All right. All right, and press play. Got what to do. Mm. So my back is still a little pain, not as much as early yesterday morning. Alex, um, Alex had this lumbar pillow that I, I used when I sat on the couch and whoa, did that ever help? And this has got Lombard support. This is a great chair. I just tend to have really bad. Okay, that's cool. I tend to have just really bad ergonomics when I sit in front of my computer. That's all. That's all it is. All right, let's um. <clears throat> um, slowed, slowed, what's load? I went ahead and picked up Stranded. Oh, um, it looks like those devs are there to support the game for long haul. I, I, I've heard from someone in chat, they really enjoyed the game. They played all four scenarios. I don't know what that means. And uh, they enjoyed it. So I said, all right. So that's why it's on my list. So here's a question. <clears throat> when, when I launch, it seems like there's default stuff at a launch pad. So am I not always launching from the same launch pad and it leaves the uh, the clamps there until I go back to that launch pad? I find that weird. All right, um, so we're going to the MUN and we have 226 science. Is there anything that I, I that's good? So we have, oh, that's not, the, that's a swivel. We unlocked, so we have the skipper. <laughs> And oh, we unlocked the poodle too, right? Yeah. All right. So where is the, all right. So 250 kilonewtons in actually the best way to do this. So I have 226. I can't. Oh, so shy. All right. Is there anything I can get quick science from? Let's go to mission control. And, uh, It's eccentric. Is that an orbit thing? Ion. Please launch a vehicle in into the least circular orbit you can manage. So they want something that has a PE. I can do that easily. That's 100 science too. Oh wait, do we have um? <clears throat> I don't think I have a probe core yet, do I? 
a friend gifted me Evo Space and Star Mancer last night. And a few days before, another friend gifted me psychological healing tool named Power Wash Simulator. <laughs> Um, yes, yes. <laughs> so that's the only probe that we have. And I can't unlock another one. So I guess we're just going to do our Mun mission, all right? And I think the only thing, oh, you know what? Whoa. I don't, I don't care for that. That's weird. So, um, oh. Uh, all right, so our lifter, which, how did I do that? How did I do that? I just right mouse clicked and, and slid up. That's what I want. All right, so I don't like the um, controls here. All right, so I wanna keep this lifter, <clears throat> uh, but, oh. We unlock that. Oh, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Um, so how do I... Oh, I know. I know, I know. Hang on. So I don't have the right size shoots for that, do I? No. So extra small. Oh, I see. Those are radial mounted. I get it. I get it. All right. So what we could do is um, right now, let's just put those right there. I got itchy nose. Itchy nose. I'm sorry. That takes care of the shoot. Do we have a... Nice. And I don't need all this ablator. I don't think so. All right. Um, trying to see if there's anything I can put on the top. So this has got a reaction wheel. I'm not going to check because I know it does. Um, is there like a... All right, there we go. <clears throat> and then what else do we have here? Is that a reaction wheel or science? That's the science junior. Now we're gonna land on the mun. So. I need a tank. And I should have the poodle in here somewhere. All right, so my question is, so they don't allow you to surface attach. So do I have my little favorite structural. Oh, jeez. Oh, holy shnikey. Trust a damn. Oh. Huh. So. All right, hang on. Um. If I save this, hopefully it saves all these parts. I'm going to go unlock. <clears throat> Whoa, I just saw the collab between. Oh, with uh, with Nate. Are you talking about? Where they helped him build a rocket. Or he built a rocket and they talked about it. I probably don't know what you're talking about. I need to go back to R&D. Uh, let's go here. Micro construction. Maybe that's what I need. Let's see if that gives me the parts I need. I didn't see Tony in the one. I, I went halfway through. Whoa. All right. So it remembered it all. That was awesome. So I just unlocked small construction stuff. Here we go. There we are. Except for
Oh, I didn't see that. No, I didn't. So that didn't work. So we can't surface attach anymore, huh? Well, that's a bummer. Hey, Raven, what's up? All right, so we got our... Oh, wait a minute. Is there... That's shoots. Do they have... Um... We don't have different configurations for the... Uh... All right, so... So where is the assembly anchor? Invalid assembly anchor. All right. Um, Except for it's still referencing. Okay. All right, there we go. I get it now. So there's, I guess this is the, what do we call it? The, um, the root. Okay. So we don't need any of this anymore. Oh, uh, you know what? Do we have landing legs? Do I have any legs? Oh, I don't have any. We may not be. Oh, we got these things. Oh, okay. That should be okay. Hang on. We're just uh, trying to outfit. Oh. Okay. I don't think this is gonna go over. We're not gonna land very well. Needs to be very, very flat. Or, um, let's see what we can do here. I do think I have. Where'd they put the engine mounts at? I don't think it will digital. Right, there's an engine mount. It's a small one though. Okay, I guess I don't have the correct size engine mount. Well, darn. I guess we're back to this as a lander.
Yeah. Not enough. All right. All right. So let's see here. If I want to switch over to there. Okay. So now. All right. Sorry. Looks like we're re rebuilding from scratch again here. There we go. And um, we'll do a heat shield again. Wherever those are. Got to shoot. Um, okay, get rid of this. Need a decoupler. Now we're going to land with this thing, so. I gotta sneeze. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. All right, so for some reason. I don't have anything. There's no Delta V. Um, there we go all right now stuff registers all right so this is what we got to the moon with but i want to try fuel lines i want to see if these things work Oh, let's see. Normally, I would just attach there. Oh, let's see. I did not put in symmetry. Hang on. Oh. Someone needs to tell them that the cameras are terrible in the VAB. Oh, jeez. Try that again. Grab that. And we want to go like that. I would really like to put it right about there. And then if I come up, oh geez. Oh, okay, I'm gonna have a convulsion here. All right, that worked, sorta. Can I, can I get in here and clean it up? No. There has got to be better camera controls. I don't think those are, yeah, okay, those are at least going the right way. Oh, no, that's not gonna work. <laughs> All right. So if I just simply go there to there, and let's see if I can't fix this a little bit.
All right, so I need to turn this into a lander up here. So we should have a stage. Middle mouse button is camera control. Oh, son of a gun. And that's gonna be uncomfortable, but at least. Not very intuitive. I'm not a fan of that. Hope they don't keep it or it makes them change to. All right, anyways. Thanks, Electro. University. <laughs> Everyone hates them. All right, so let's um should have a decoupler right here, right? So I thought I did. Oh, geez. Right, there's a decoupler engine. There we go. All right. All right. So this stage is right here. And if we put this on Mun, somewhere. Probably one of the few things most people can agree on, hence why they'll keep it that way. <laughs> Just to get on everyone's nerves. They're probably thinking there'll be a mod to fix it. All right. Um, so that's got 1613. If we use the stage before to do the landing, I think that it's a feature. Yes. What is the thrust? Oh, that's a good thrust too. Okay. So let's see about um can i land with this that's the science junior we got battery and we don't have any real solar panels do we we don't okay um that's gonna be Oh God. Uh, reminds me of the very first rocket I, I landed on <laughs> on the mud. Um, We don't have any other science do we not just the science junior hey we got lights i'm gonna put some lights on this thing because, oh also i'm getting a little uh uh i miss having the individual science parts though it all seems so interactive right now yeah yeah so these will not fit nicely on that. What if I... Where were the engine plates? Okay, so that's... Oh, that's weird. How come the engine plate doesn't want to... Okay. Now, why would I want to do that when I... I okay, that doesn't make any sense. is that bring my ship back you jerk oh this is fun <laughs> where's my ship oh what did i do uh 
My game locked up. All right, wait a minute. There it is. No, don't go that way. Oh, it's moving further away. Yeah, all right, so. Can I revert? No, there's nothing to revert. The heck? Oh, I broke it all right. Where's the VAB? Somebody took the VAB. Oh no, I, I lost the VAB. I broke, the, oh, okay. I broke the game. I just want to go to the moon. You know, I don't want to say I know how when people first got Kerbal right out of the gate, how they feel, because I don't know how that was. All right, so there's our lander. What was I trying to do? I think I was trying to lower these. All right. That gives me clearance. Except for I can't. This is going to be fun. That's good. Okay, they work now. The original KSP has less headaches, way more, uh, but way more uh, duh bugs than progress and pretty slow. Um, You know what? I'm going to give them props because they have a community that's expecting, you know, a lot. All right. And they went into that knowing that I, I know that now from what I've seen, the visuals, I'm blown away. All right. I, I very am pleased with that. Um, and I don't seem to be suffering any performance with, you know, having Eve built into the game or clouds. Um, the uh, the graphics are are really nice and shiny, and I'm again I'm I'm running 60 frames per second. I had some lag yesterday on a liftoff, but it cleared itself up. So still some performance issues. Um, I think this is a step in the right direction. Um, and like every single game out there nowadays, none of them are perfect and polished, and they always someone will always have a problem with a feature or a bug or something like that so that was made by one guy and there was like eight parts when it first came out so yeah oh, i get it i'm not i'm just i'm giving them credit where credit is due and oh yeah this game's got issues so hopefully i can land with this so let's double check what i got here uh so on on the mun that's not the mun that's Kerbin. There's the mud. So 1536 with a thrust to weight ratio of six. All right, so I'm happy with this. We'll have a stage before this one, like this one here that will help ease the landing so I don't burn through all my fuel here. I like that. I've always done that before. It seems like cheating, but I'm gonna still do it. All right, and so this stage here, if, um, if we can get this rocket, uh oh, that would have been a problem. And there we go. Okay, 
So this has got 926. This can help us land. So we want to get this rocket to the mud. Yeah, harvester, yeah. So the question is, can I get, will this stage work? Let's take a look at the lifter. The lifter, I now have got fuel lines. And these are Reliance. All right, so these are just my boosters. Um, uh oh. Oh, geez. Do I, do I need this anywhere? Let's uh, take a gander what we got going on here. Three engines, uh, Kerbin atmosphere. So 113, but I think this, yeah, let's put that at 100% throttle. Now that gives us a 131 off the launch pad. Um, and the boosters got 1629. If I'm reading that right. Is that how I read that? 1629, because this stage says it's got another 3000 Delta V. So when I decouple this, then this has got 3000 Delta V, giving me a total of what? 4600 Delta V? Is that how I'm interpreting that? I think so. I hope so. All right, let's see what happens. I mean, what's the worst thing that could happen? What is the absolute worst thing that could happen? We kill a Kerbal. Or I kill a Kerbal. Uh, structural. I thought the clamps were in structural. No. Nope, not there either. Oh, that's a, a fairing. Cool. All right. Oh, they're there. All right. So now here, here's the, the fun part. Oh, geez. I look what I did. Let's see if, um, who do we want to take? There's Bill. Let's take, um, for this historic flight, I think we're going to take good old Jebediah. There he is. I'm not on the launch pad. Is there science to be gotten from here? No. All right. Uh, yeah, we're going to revert back to the VAB. Oh. Is that because I left my orientation like this versus that? It was. All right. Now let's uh, save this to there. Now let's try that again. Still on the runway. All right, what am I doing wrong? There's a button where the launch site for the launch button. Is there really? Oh, there it is. Thank you. I don't know why I got changed. I never changed it. I guess there's a bunch of stuff on the pad. Boat launch. <laughs> All right, let's select that. 
Uh, thanks, Army Tiger. Appreciate that very much. And do we still have a is Jeb still in there? Maybe I hovered over the map. I, I don't remember. Hey, there we go. The heck are they building over there? All right, here we go. Oh my, uh, this is wrong. Hang on. How do I? Oh, geez. There we go. Jeb, let's go to the moon, dude. See if we can do this. Friday what are everyone's plans for Friday we are having pizza it's pizza and movie night Alex's uh, father likes to watch the 1951 uh, Christmas Carol uh, so we're supposed to be over there about six. Oh, right, there's boosters my plan is to exist all right Sure went through those boosters fast. Um. Uh, hopefully my back is more spry tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna get the laser level out, measure how where I want the countertops in the garage and draw a line on the new wall, find the studs, mark those. And uh, that's about all we're gonna do. Now I gotta clean it out, clean the garage. Let's try getting in orbit here. Wonderful Friday. You're doing okay. Prepping for shower, planning more KSP today. Want to finish science page three in my Iron Man mode and the rest of life is life. Complaining doesn't make it better. There you go. Um, 
I don't have a whole lot to do today except for this. And um, like I said, I, uh, <laughs> how do I pause the game? Hang on, that's how we pause it. So I've been working on, uh, I got myself a, uh, a set of addressable LEDs, WS something something B, really cool LEDs. I got them hooked up. First I had them plugged into the USB power and that worked fine. And I got the software all downloaded and stuff. The thing about it is now I have um, a, a, I have a, a real power supply for it. And uh, it's plugged into a barrel connector. Hang on, let me do visuals. What the heck's my, oh, there it is. So I got a barrel connector so I can plug a, a, a power supply into it. And it's very easy, positive, negative. And then of course the LEDs need power and also the, the controller needs power. So there's, there's a, I use some Wago connectors. So everything's nice and, you know, safe. So there's, you know, twos and threes and whatnot. So, so I got it connected. Uh, no ends of wires are any exposed, but it's not in an enclosure. So I said, okay, so I need an enclosure. I want something that'll hold the control board. And when I say control board, uh, I'm talking about, hang on. Workshop garage countertop height, dedicate delicate balance between high enough well, I'm using our kitchen counters, which I think are 36, maybe 37. Also, my current workbench is a perfect height and how, how I know how that feels good for me is the, so if you remember, I have a, a workbench and then I made a smaller workbench for the table saw so that the table of the table saw would be flush with that. And that's about 36 inches. It used to be 41 inches, but it was a little bit too high. Hang on, I'm having a, I'm having a dexterity problem here. Oh, geez, really? So these little control boards, here we go. Oh, no, I lost it. Hang on, I got it. I'm all thumbs today. Oh, there we go. Um, there we go. So this is a ESP, uh, not, a, not a 32S, a, a 8266. So a little, little control board. It's got a Wi-Fi chip on it, right? And a micro USB. And uh, I don't know how to solder. So when I'm connecting these things to data, power, neutral and whatnot, I'm using wires like this that have got, you know, that end and that end, and they work fine. I just needed a place to put said controller and it, this works. Hang on, a little live demo. I thought you talk about a main PCB board. No, no, a little tiny controller, yeah. All that stuff you do on your house and you don't know how to solder? No, I don't. I don't have a soldering gun. So the barrel connector will friction fit and I can put a little dab of crazy glue in here. So that'll fit in there. And that way I can connect the power. And then the control board right here will fit right in here nicely. And, and I have to wiggle it a little bit, but it'll get in there. And then the lid <clears throat> will fit on top. So now I've got a power and then I can have, I'm thinking about putting a, a rubber grommet of some kind here with all the wiring except for, I don't have a sample, but let's pretend that this is the connector going to the LEDs and the LEDs have the same uh, female end. And that way I can unhook this from the power, unhook this from the LEDs and I could take it somewhere else. Well, I ran into a problem that with the wires connected, I couldn't get the lid on because it was too tall. So my limited uh, 3D printing skills, what do you want to call it modeling skills, I made a taller one. So, see? And uh, so, bigger, taller. The only problem is, whoa, the, uh, I figured out, the, the circle is, is a little bit stretched out. So, it still fits in there. I just didn't realize I did that. So, that's my little indoor project when it's freezing outside. So, hopefully this weekend I can, uh, yeah, yeah, that's an eclipse. So hopefully I can get it all in here and it'll fit. Um, 
or uh, I might have to learn how to solder and put it on a PCB and then mount it to an actual box or something like that. The power supply I have is kind of a, it's a 12 volt, five amp. So it's plenty of power. But if I decide to daisy chain, that's what you say, Al. I, I don't have shaky hands, but I tell you what, I'm not a surgeon. So anyways, I appreciate that guys. All right, back to the game, sorry. So, and then of course, uh, oh, did I, I pause the game? All right, so let's unpause. Lock to that. And we need 975 Delta V to uh, make this burn. And I, I should see a fuel indicator in here. I, I guess it's maybe my ship is broke or something. Um, it, it's okay. It uh, it's better than it was before. It's a step in the right direction. Um, we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna try to land on the mun. Notable, you just picked up a game that I was gonna ask you about to see if you liked it. Hang on, let me finish this and let me... What game did you recently start playing, Notable? Eighty-two by ninety-two. All right, that's close enough. I don't know. I just saw. Hang on. Let me. Uh, let me not know what I'm talking about because that happens too often. Um. It was. I saw in my feed that you had started playing something or you did something in a game. So, um... Maybe it wasn't you, Joe. Don't you go by Axel Joe or something like that on uh, on Steam? Nope. All right, my bad. How many Joes? All right, this is not what I want. How do I get back? All right, there we go. And I want to target, and then we want to put a. There's Axel, Joe. Joe, uh, Axel, which one were you recently playing? Sorry. Too many Joes. I just said that. That's mean. It's hard to keep up with, I'll be honest, because some people will go by, like, Gamer Circle. Void Crew? No. Never too many Joes. That's true. Um... I was intrigued because it's on my wish list and I was wondering, hey, let me ask him what he thinks of it. Now, if we drag this over here. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Notable Joe with the gifted to Axel Joe. Thanks, Notable, I appreciate that. Appreciate that very much. Thanks, Joe. All right, there we go. Um, now, if I move this around. No, I don't know what I just did. Oh, geez.
All right, let's go with that. Uh, I was tied a little chat session with uh, Electro about some games that I'm eyeballing. Um, the thing about it is, I also need to get some plywood. Um, so, uh, as a stocking stuffer, um, Alex got me, um, uh, no, no one survived, but I'm looking at Lethal Company, Sunken Land, Stranded Alien Dawn, and a couple others. Uh oh, you like Sunken Land? All right, that's co-op too. I'm wondering Sunken Land and Wrath, is there a distinct difference between the two? That's what I've heard. All right, so we have 23 minutes here. So if we do this. Raft is pretty grindy versus sunken land. Well, me and Alex had a ton of fun in Raft. Uh, yes, in Sunken Land, you have an island. There are places out of the water. Oh, Lethal Company, I've played that recently. It's a stressful, fun kind of game. Okay, all right, all right, all right. That's That was what it was there, Axel. All right, 20 minutes till I burn. Oh. Lethal Company doesn't look like my type of game, but it seems. Um, seems like most people have been playing it. I've seen it streamed a bunch. Now, um, question. Now that you have an encounter with the moon, can you make a maneuver in the. I, I, I don't seem to be able to do anything in, uh, in regards to that. No. Unless I'm doing it wrong. All right, so let's um let's fix this. Well, let me try it again. I mean, yeah, see, I can't do anything. I can't even warp here or anything like that. So now, um, I guess what I can do is can I warp to this? No, I can warp to here. Okay. I guess you can make, and then that would put it inside here. That's, that's kind of weird though. So I can, I'm warp to say there. All right. No, Steve Tucci is not here. I got no signs. All right, let's do a node. Oh, oh, who did what? Who did that? Oh, notable 
dude, thank you so much. Whoa, 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 Notable. Notable gave me Lethal Company and Sunken Land. Notable, thank you so much, man. Oh, that's so awesome. Oh, well, no, 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 I, that, that, you did more than enough. It was stranded, uh, the stranded one, yes. No, no, no. Ex yes, yes. Oh, thank you, Notable. That was so generous of you. You did not have to do that. Now, let's see if I can do this. Now, I seem to be having a problem doing circular orbits. Maybe I'm just spoiled because I use uh, MechJub for that. Roger! RG, how you doing, man? All right, so what do we got here? 100 by 31, all right? Again, Notable, thank you so much, man. I'm definitely gonna accept that and that. Oh, thank you, Saul, appreciate it. Thank you, guys. All right, so I need that to go away so I can see what I'm doing. So I need to pull that into 30-ish. All right, 38 by 30, that's close enough. All right, so then, what is your favorite waffle? Army Tiger 561, thank you for that waffle. Appreciate that very much. And you asked what my favorite waffle was. Waffles. Right there. Oh, and that one too. <gasps> then he just gave me the premium edition of Stranded Alien Dawn. Oh, man. Oh, man. Dude, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. That was, that was awesome. Thank you, Joe. Notable. Because <laughs> there can never be too many Joes. That's awesome. God, that's so cool. Thank you, Notable. Appreciate that very much. I really do. All right, so are we facing... We are. So this is 278, and we have 283. Joes are always cool dudes. Hang on. Did I ever work with a Joe? I don't think I've ever worked with a Joe. I went to school with a Joe. Oh, th thank you, Notable. All right, so we're gonna use up almost all of this fuel. Um, and I, I, in fact, I wanna get rid of this stage without leaving debris. So if I try to, um, how do I do this? I don't have too much gas left. That's 283 and then it's still gonna leave it as debris. Right, hang on. How do we do this so we get rid of this stage? The heck is CE? God, Joe, notable. Thank you so much, man. Um, so I'm at 283. So yeah, I was thinking about doing a little radial. There we go. And then I can fix that with my other stage. Cool. Wait a minute, I'm confused. I lost my my node. There's that. OK. 
Okay. Uh, all right, let's burn that. Detach it and then we'll fix it. We can do that. I can do this. I know how. Again, notable, man. I, I'm flabbergasted, man. Thank you so much. Oh, that was awesome. I would really love to tell you guys what I got Alex for a stocking stuffer. But she might be in the chat. Let me see if she's in chat. She's not. I'll tell you guys next week. Well, unfortunately, the stocking stuffer that I ordered, Amazon said, yeah, you can have it before Christmas and it's showing up after Christmas. It's, um, I think, I think she's going to like it. She'll see the VOD. <laughs> All right, we're pointing the right direction. Uh, where are we? Here we are. Oh, excuse me. Mm. Yeah, it's funny. Sometimes when we get in a little playful argument and I'll say, I didn't say that. She goes, check the VOD. And we're talking, you know, I'm not even streaming. <sighs> Aloha, Eda. I swear they say Aloha and then something else. So basically I'm overburning on purpose so I can get this stage to uh, make sure I don't botch this. So I'm doing an F5. No, 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 no. That wasn't right. All right, so load. Is my staging wrong? Maybe my staging was wrong. All right, so, ah, my staging is, uh, oh, wait a minute. I haven't done the burn yet, or did I? I'm confused. I did the burn. So I've only got. Uh oh, I forgot a decoupler, didn't I? There's no decoupler there. So I built the rocket wrong. Oh well. Can't you. You actually can't decouple. All right. Oh well. Oh wait, wait, wait. I want to try something. Hang on. Let's load this in again. So if we move, so that engine right there doesn't have a decoupler. And um, can we move? You can't move. Oh, you can't. All right. So. Wait a minute. All right. So that means there's hardly any fuel. Where's... I'm so confused. You can't see the contents? I'm confused. Uh, okay. Well... I did. All right, so now, now I, I, I made my own decoupler. Hang on a sec, let me fix my problem here. I don't wanna do that. Delete. Yeah, 
Yeah, then I'll try to solve that. Okay, so this will work right now. <clears throat> so I'm not seeing the fuel in my fuel tank. If you want to see the fuel, you have to go to the symbol next to the clip. All right. Um, oh, I see. There you go. So this engine has a tank. Then we have a decoupler. Yeah, I know they're overrated. You're right. And that, that engine shouldn't even be here anymore. That's over there. <laughs> okay. So that's the right engine I want to use. Hang on. Let me do this. Uh oh, I guess, I guess that didn't work after all. Uh. Oh. Uh. There's no gas. I don't think we're going to land safely here. So if I want to see my fuel, I can see my fuel here. I wasn't seeing it before for whatever reason. Ooh. What does that mean? Doing no. Saturn, happy holidays. If I don't see you this week, and I hope you, Pookie, and the family have a great Christmas. Saturn, thank you very much for that. I appreciate that. You you missed it. Um, Notable Joe just gifted me three games that I was talking about that I put on my wish list, and he made them come true. <laughs> thank you. All right. Yeah. I'm going to bring home a bunch of pizza tonight and stay up all night and play games. Thanks to Joe. Now, can I EVA and not get in trouble here? Uh, okay. It says we're crashing. Okay. Let's get back aboard so I don't crash. I know. Oh, wait. All right. So that worked. All right. So I have got 1,208 Delta V. Okay. And my speed is 407. I think. Oh, that's how, oh, I got it, I got it, okay. So it's gonna take 400 Delta V to slow us down. We're not gonna have enough to get back home.
Maybe. I don't know. Well, if I would have built this rocket correctly, I think we would have made it safe. I, I missed a decoupler somehow. I don't want to kill him, Notable. Can't believe that, Notable. This is almost exactly how my mission went yesterday. Just didn't quite have enough Delta V to get back home. Well, so let's say I need 500 Delta V to land. That's going to leave me another 500. It's going to take a, oh, scared me. It's going to take about 240 to get back into orbit, orbit and another 260. So it's going to be close. That's right, digital. All right, so we're 13 kilometers up, right? Okay. Oh. Uh, if you can get to the mun, you have you have gotten one of the big hurdles out of the way. By the way, if you guys ever miss any of the streams, I have been uploading all the streams to um, to my YouTube channel. And I've been making some shorts too. All right. Bermuda BVDs. Now, I think we're going to have just enough to land. Maybe I can bring back a modified craft with, uh, I don't have any probe cores though. Oh, we could transmit science and maybe unlock them. Through the looms. Did you know it was a one-way mission? No, oh, they didn't. That's Jeb, though. Good old Jeb. You know, look at Jeb. He's all happy. So I got 654 Delta V. Plenty of fuel to land. Oh, wait, I got lights. Didn't I put lights? Oh, I guess I didn't. Yeah, maybe I can get him back into orbit and they can come get him. All right, just over, over a kilometer. Is that trees? Is there trees on the mun? <laughs> oh, there's a bunch of rocks. All right.
Here we go, dust. Jeb can pick up, pick out a headstone. That's true. That's mean, but that's true. Um, all right, let's get a, you know what? I need the panel. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if I can manage this. Hang on. Um, rid of this. Oh, geez. Don't, don't do it. Oh, well. Jeb. Way to go, Jeb. All we knew is that his stability was keeping it up. Poor Jeb. And I don't think, yeah, we can't control this. So, all right, hang on. Let's... <laughs> Poor Jeb. All right. We've got to perform. Oh, he's got to perform it. Uh,. All right, so he's running a surf surface survey. Okay. And crew observation, that's running. The Leaning Tower of Landa. Hey, Ozzy. Yeah. Pookie's here. Dude, it's only 9 o'clock. Hang on, I gotta... Oh, weird. All right, so we got all that. Now, I need to get in the ship to transmit this, right? Maybe. All right, all the data has been there. We can transmit now. You know, it's funny because why did we land at such an angle? Because I was on just a little bit of a little lump there. No, we got no snacks. Oh, no, no, no. That's going to blow something up. All right. Try and do a kickflip. Oh, seem to have uh, lost my... Uh... Oh, there's a big rock. Oh, excuse me. All right, so. Yeah, I don't think I got enough juice for that, but.
One more time, maybe. There you go. Like the good old days of Kerbal. Uh oh. No, 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 no. There we go. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Landing struts are kind of squishy. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Learn that from KSP1 too many times. All right, so. Um, how do I transmit my science? I'm afraid to get him out. Oh, geez. No, 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 no. All right, we're out of here. Base it with a pigeon. All right, we're not gonna make this, so. How come I don't see my trajectory? Oh. My game's broken. It's normal. That's not normal. in lumpy waters here we'll see if we can't come rescue him if i can survive so we have 106 delta v uh yeah i think jeb's gonna perish here the uh lights are about useless for the cabin and also have you noticed that his helmet clips <laughs> Lumpy potatoes. Oh, a lot of people like lumpy potatoes. I, uh, for Thanksgiving, I made homemade mashed potatoes, creamy mashed potatoes. Transmit. I can't transmit because I don't have an antenna, I don't think. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Abandoned ship. Hey! Oh, nice. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. No, no. Oh, no, no. No! Jab, dude! No! Oh! Well, that backfired. Yeah, I mean, that's Jab. I know. 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 I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Mm. All right, let's fix our um, our rocket. 
I'm putting an antenna on the ship. I'm filling your report. I'm filing your report. All right. <laughs> <laughs> probably. Yeah, you're probably right. All right. So, uh, go with this one, I guess. Load. And then our problem was, so we have a decoupler. We don't have a decoupler here. That's the problem. There we go. And then we want to move that stage right there. All right, pilot time. We got Bill this time. Or Bill. No, no, that didn't work. Hang on. I added a decoupler and for some reason I put it down at the bottom. I did not check my staging, so I did a revert. Uh, yeah, it added it here. So we want to add drag those down there. Drag those down there. So this would go up here somewhere. <laughs> That's not very fair. Okay. We've got those. We let go of the ground. We have that. Then we need to have that guy. So... Uh, these. Then let's do this and then that. All right, so engines. We'll go to the ground. Done with those. We get. Oh, where's the other one at? Oh, there it is. Engines. We'll go to the ground. Here are the boosters. All right, let's see if we can do a little bit better this time. It seems like the wobbly rockets have been uh, pretty much fixed. what's going to happen to him. Notable does.
All right. What is the little package underneath the... So if I make a node, what is the... Uh, what's that for? Saving it? There's no tooltip to tell me what it is. I think it's kind of weird. Not doing anything, huh? All right. So we have 90 by... I'm confused. Uh, oh, here we go. 86 by, uh, let's see. All right, we'll do that. Oh, do, 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 do. So we can do this. No. There we go. Oh, all right. Here we go. So I, um, day before yesterday, I have a Hughes motion sensor. I don't have a Hughes hub because the uh, Amazon Echo I have in the other room has got a Zigbee controller in it. And so I was able to get that into the system. And now I've got a motion sensor in our dining room. So when somebody walks into the dining room during certain times, it turns on the light. No, no. Amazon. Um, hang on. There we go. Think that work? Uh, it's, God, it sure is. Can't make a circular. Oh. So uh, anyway, so now I got I got that. So when you come in with groceries, the light turns on. You can see where you're putting the groceries. Um, and then after five minutes, if there's no activity, then it turns itself off. Um, so of course I had to swap out the lights in the, uh, dining room with, uh, some smart lights. And then I caught wind that the same Amazon device has got an ultrasound sensor. So it's supposed to be detect if there's occupancy and no occupancy. And then I have a light in there that I have it hooked up to. I didn't, it didn't work last night, but, um, maybe it will tonight. I don't know. All right. So, oh, all right. So I want to bring that. Yeah. So I, I keep telling Alex, I go, you leave me home alone. I'm going to start automating stuff. All right. So we've got 736 Delta V, not quite enough fuel to get a straight bun capture. So I want to try not to leave any debris. The original Echo prototype had way, way better hardware than all the new ones. Well, I said, I, I have one of the shows right here and um, a nice feature is if you get all, all the right skills for, for like your cameras, I can actually talk to it and it will show me live, Im live video of the cameras right from here. So it's like, I have a little command center. Doesn't also have mean you with the ultrasound have some super software visualized people in 3D? No, that would be cool. Oh, the ultrasound. No, I guess. Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, all right, so moon. Where's the moon? Where's the moon? 
No, I didn't want to do that. There we go. Target! Oh yeah, yeah, little uh, you can do echo pings. You know, I was in the Navy, I never, never served aboard a submarine. Well, it, it, you know, it's just, they have certain requirements. I was too tall. Um, but when I was in San Diego, uh, when I was in school, I asked my teacher, I go, is there a way that we can see can we go aboard other ships and he asked me which one i said well I, i'd just like to see what the inside of a submarine looks like and so he reached out and uh it was like in a couple weeks i got a permission to go aboard it was um oh man i can't remember what it was it wasn't a it wasn't a nuclear it was an older ss uh but man it was it was so i didn't go i went to birthing cic because you pretty much go through cic all the time um and the mess hall and I tell you what, whatever they were cooking smelled so good. Oh man. Smarter every day had a good, really good nuclear sub series. Uh, just talking about them or touring them or. All right, we don't have enough fuel to do this in this stage and we can't transfer fuel yet. Oh, touring and video, that's so cool. All right, let's see here. If we twist this. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, okay. Really? That's so that's awesome. What am I doing wrong here? There we go. All right. So that's going to cost 847 Delta V. So we're going to leave a stage in orbit or something. I mean, when I was aboard my ship, I was actually aboard it before it was actually completely built. Uh, when I moved aboard, they had just put the conning tower on the flight deck. And the flight deck didn't have non-skid or anything like that. So um, I was one of the first people to volunteer since they had gotten the computers that we were working on were finally installed, hooked up, and uh, they were certified. So um, we started processing. Instead of borrowing computers at the uh, base in Norfolk, we had to start taking all of our stuff over there. So I got, I, I was busy a lot. But it was nice. I had the birthing compartment all to myself for probably about, I don't know, three months. Um, and since there was hardly anyone aboard the ship, we did, we still, we still had a mess hall. Uh, so I got my meals. Everything was good. I had laundry service. All right. We're not quite locked on, are we? Where are we? Okay. Oh, well, I sounds like I, I need to uh, see if you can post a link out in Discord. I, I'd like to watch it. Submarines are cool. So I got this right.
there should be a, a fuel thingy going on here. I don't like the staging. Staging makes me very nervous. All right, so what we discovered that if we go on this trajectory and if we click inside here, oh, wait. Wait a minute. I'm confused. Oh, there we go. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. Evidently. All right, so let's point. Oh, thanks. Thank you very much. All right, so now let's do a So it looks like we just need to burn about 20 Delta V to do that. Whatever. All right. Oh, it's dark over here. Oh, it's not dark anymore. I see we can do a better time, a better landing this time. And I wish we would have saved Jeb. Aloha, Edda. Aloha to you too. Oh, look at that. We already got credit for landing. Oh, we landed. We just, I guess we could have done this with, the, with a probe. I don't have any probes. Oh, I have the uh, Pudnik. All right, well. So we've got 566 Delta V. Um, then the next stage is 1536. So big black area there let's see about setting down looking for poop
Okay, we're 16 kilometers up. So we're gonna go ahead and burn through all this fuel. Gets it all slowed down. There was a side mission to land in an ocean. I thought that was going to be hard. Well, you know, thing. Mm, excuse me. All right, 10 kilometers. 10.5. All right, let's expend all this. Under one, uh, one kilometer, 800 meters. We're up and like crazy though. There we go. Not as many rocks this time. Oh, never mind. Plenty of rocks this time.
All right, well, we landed. Um, I don't like these landing gear. No, sir, I don't. I wonder if the other landing gear will do any better. Let's see if um can get back home. Does the landing gear have yeah, they have all the auto leveling. I just haven't done I, I went with all the de default. Did you adjust the spring setting? No. Let's uh let's take a look at it as we drift. So if we oops. Oop. So I left it on auto on friction, but you can adjust that. And then the auto suspension also. So yeah, you can stiffen the spring and the dampener and all that kind of stuff. It all, it's almost like, you guys remember when they updated Kerbal once and all of a sudden after that update, all the landing gear was squishy. Seems like that problem is back. science oh you, you you can actually transfer fuel huh oh interesting all right i did not know that by 37 that's good enough all right let's try to get these back guys back to we have 507 oh dude Sixty-seven. All right. There we go. All right. So two eighty-four. Oh wait, stop. Don't do that.
17 second burn, 284 Delta V, you got 507. Should be able to get uh, Bill back home. Sorry, Jab. Sorry, Jab, my bad. So Red Motion Gaming said that him and one of his daughters were right, watching the Infinity Wars. And for some reason, that made me want to watch it. So I ended up watching the Infinity Wars and Endgame last night. Just found out that the new season of What If is on Disney Plus. So I got something to watch. I'm really looking forward to the uh, 1602 episode. Neil Gaiman wrote this awesome story about like, what if all the uh, uh, Marvel superheroes are around in 1602? And it was, God, it was drawn well, written well. I liked it. So that's actually a what if story we got too. Okay, how come I don't have a burn indicator here? Uh, okay, let's get rid of this node. Uh, you want to give Stranded Blind a try this morning? Uh, I'm gonna do that Monday, all right? I'm gonna do that Monday. Where's the, oh. So we'll finish out with Kerbal, uh, and then Sunday Stationers with Ben, and then Monday we'll do Stranded. Oh, uh, it's probably two times. Oh, that's right. Uh, uh, day after. Oh, let me look at my schedule because um, Tuesday I have to do an errand. So stream will probably start later. Slater will start later. Um, I have to go witness some signatures because I'm great, great peepers, I guess. I don't know. 49, I think that might be a little bit too deep in the atmosphere. Let's um, pop that out a little bit. Oh, uh, did I go the wrong way? Oh, uh, it's all family stuff. Oh. That's better. All right, so we're going to exit there. So I should be able to... Well, maybe. So the other one would always give you a little... I don't know where that's going to put me off at. Let's do a do a save. All right. Altitude. Uh, um, um, oh, there we go. All right. That can't be right. Do I have the moon targeted or something like that? Shows my AP is 12. Oh, that, no, I'm sorry. That's right. Never mind. I 
I got confused. I'm okay. Hey, we're going to do another water landing. Awesome. Oh, there's the atmosphere. Let's uh, arm that. Uh, that's good. I would love to say it's just probably smooth sailing from here, but probably not. Thanks, Ozzy. Merry Christmas to you too, Ozzy. And guys, if if no one, you know, if you guys have got weekend plans into Monday, like I said, I have to check with Ben to see if he's going to be around on Sunday. But uh, in fact, let me do that right now. Digital, thanks a lot for that link. Check with Ben. <clears throat> oh, we're going to have to make another laugh, huh? I really thought that 54 kilometers would have been, uh, all right. But anyways, guys, if I don't stream on Sunday with Ben, um, I probably will stream something. Um, and then Monday, of course, Christmas. And then Tuesday, I will be streaming when I get back from doing this uh, little uh, errand. And uh, we'll plan on Stranded. All right, we're still... Um, all right, let's uh, warp over here. You know. clean up my desk hang on i got all these little circuit boards all over the place all right that's in
Oh, it's dragging the AP in nicely. I like that. We're going to have to do another lap or two. I just know I'm going to collide with one of these pieces of debris I left in space. Can you go to the tracking station and uncheck them so you don't see them on the map? Anyone know? I know that. I'm just wondering if we can do that in KSP2 now. Thanks, Electro. Oh, I know it's a slim chance, I know. But I, I always have the best luck in the world when it comes to that. I've even run into my own stations before. So, uh, you know, the, the possibilities are, you know, astounding. I've done that, forgot about the staging and bumped the spacebar and sent a rocket full speed into the station's docking port. Oh no, I um, 
I was deorbiting and thought I had drifted far enough and I, I did not. I took out the solar panels and the station was spinning. Horrible. Terrible. We're, uh, we're not dragging this AP in as fast as I want to. I know, I know. The thing is, is I was lucky because I didn't kill any Kerbals and it was quite a mess though. what it was with me and robotics but i had a station around the mun and it was a it was a cool little adventure that all the components that i took up had no rcs on them so i would deliver them and i would stretch an arm over and connect to it and then uh build the station with a robotic arm and that was really fun up until whenever i would go back to the station the arm was all dangling out in space and stuff like that uh, and i'd had to like reset it every single time yeah you know it's funny because i never see anyone else's arms doing that Maybe I, maybe they, you know, oh, hey, there's the, uh, there should be an Easter egg there or what do they call them now? Not an Easter egg. Um, not an anomaly, a explorable or something like that. Or I think, no, there's a, um, a ground station there, I think. Desert. We're getting close. But I tell you what, the most fun I ever had was building uh, a version of the ISS. That was like a real, real good practice on rendezvousing, docking and stuff like that. Oh yeah, no, I've actually flown and uh, when I had planes, I actually flew to one to see what it looked like. I go, oh, that's cool. Um, they have stock plane. You know, I should probably fly a plane around just to see how planes are.
So I have, I read and I've played a little Warhammer. Um, I had a friend of mine that was really, really into it. He loaned me um, his orcs and we, we played uh, a couple, few rounds, long rounds though. Measuring tapes, rulers, string. Oh my God. But man, the I read that Henry Cavill, who's a big fan of Warhammer, is actually going to be in a live action Amazon movie or TV series. Well, I don't think I'm going to make one. I think they have uh, some stock ones I can fly. Mm. Uh, give me. All right, so. Yeah, he was um, pretty dedicated to it. I don't know all the details, but uh, he was happy to be part of it. And, uh, you know, he played the character well. And I watched uh, not all this. I finished, I finished the first season. I, I liked it. I, I played the first and the second game and got partway on the third game. Um, looks like we got one more lap, maybe. It's funny how he is a super, well, not a super, he's a, a gaming nerd. And of course, you know, there's not too many movie TV people that are gaming nerds. You know, uh, Jack Black is. But he said he, he missed a phone call from uh, Schneider about playing Man of Steel because <laughs> he was playing World of Warcraft. Vin Diesel. What? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, God, what, what is this guy's name? He played, um, um, hang on, wait, wait, hang on. He spent hundreds of thousands for a very unique table, not Vin Diesel. Um, um, uh, he played Flash in the Tobey Maguire movie. He was also Deadshot, I believe, or, uh, at the end of Man of Steel. Um, John Magnolio. Joe, not John, sorry. No, this guy right here. I was watching, I was learning, or not learning, I was watching how people were like using epoxy and resin for making unique tabletops. And I found, I saw this one where they said they were making it for a uh, Hollywood personality that's a huge D&D uh, fanatic. And I went, oh, I gotta check this out. They didn't reveal who it was for until they were delivering it. And uh, the thing must have weighed close to 500 pounds, at least. Uh, I thought we we're going to drag it in more. Guess not. Oh, did he? Well, I saw him in, um, what did I see him in? What is your favorite waffle? Dr. Bean 100. Thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate that very much. And as every know, everyone knows by now. Waffle. 
That's my favorite waffle. Oh, and that one too. Yeah. Thanks for asking. Um, I saw him in Sabotage. I also saw him in, uh, like I said, he was at the end of, of the second Man of Steel movie. Uh, um, he was also in, what was it? I actually thought it was interesting. The guy was stuck in a loop of some kind. Uh, I didn't know he had done so many movies. No, I didn't watch Magic Mike. That's not my cup of tea, sorry. Um, Army of the Dead. Las Vegas. What was the other one I saw him in? I didn't, you know, I have to go back and watch that again. I, I don't remember him from that. Oh man, I can't remember. Maybe I'm thinking of the guy that played uh, uh, Crossbones or, um, yeah, that's who it is. It's actually the actor that played, um, uh, so in the, in the, uh, in the Winter Soldier, there was, you know, the, that's when you found out that Hydra had been infiltrating S.H.I.E.L.D. for years. And uh, one of the guys that was in charge of, like, the strike team that Captain America led um, ended up kind of getting burned and messed up. And then he came back as a as an actual super villain, and he had a suit with some hydraulic power and stuff. Of course, of course Captain America sent him down and... Um, Skull and crossbow. Skull. Dang it. Now I can't remember. Um, no, no. Bill is fine. He's okay. Frank Grolio, Crossbones. So this guy is who I was thinking of that was the uh, other movie. And that movie was called Boss Level. That's what it was. All right, let's get him. He's, he's, he's working hard, guys. He's working hard. I don't want to do that. That's what I want to do. I thought it was very unique. Yeah, I thought it was great. I enjoyed it. Oh, there was a side mission to land in the ocean. We already did that, though. Aww. I don't want to do it again. You guys don't want to see me go to the moon again. No. Definitely chipping away at the ablator there. Well, the Apoapsy is 300. It, it seems like each pass we bring in almost a uh, hundred. Um, so I would say a couple more rounds. Hey, good morning, FX editor. How you doing?
So what made you stop doing the comic book uh, game shop? Um, you know, I, I hate to say this, the economy got better. So when I opened up the shop in 2007, 2008, that's where the whole, you know, uh, housing market was having problem. People were having financial problems. So who couldn't afford to go on trips and whatnot were staying local and then business got better because they were staying local and spending money locally. But once once that kind of got resolved and then people were getting jobs back and were being able to start making their money again, uh, they started going out of town. So, you know, what I, I kind of read that read into that a little bit too late and didn't adjust. And so I just closed up shop instead of struggling. One of those things that, you know, when you're a one man operation, reading the news, keeping your ear to the grindstone, all that kind of stuff, it's, it's, uh, it's hard. It was interesting to see how, as I opened up the store, I had board games, comics, trade paperbacks, statues, um, magic, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon. And it was very interesting how until I would say maybe two years into it, the bread and butter was actually Magic the Gathering. And then finally comic books started catching up and surpassing magic, um, you know, and both of them working together allowed me to kind of branch out and do everything like, you know, reach out to uh, members of the 501st or so for free comic book day. It was be more of a draw and whatnot. So. So. I think we're going to land. Uh, we're gonna land. Oh, it's gonna be dark. Great. Oh, we can see if his helmet has a headlight. You're on vacation until next year. Wow. Well, we got movie and a pizza tonight. We're gonna watch the uh, the Christmas Carol, the 1951, and then uh, um sleep in and then uh i'm gonna clean the garage tomorrow and we're gonna mark the studs on the new painted wall i, I put that we put in there to be put all the dc made for tv animated comics on movies oh really oh cool Um, you know, I'm a big movie watcher, but I've never seen that one or Wizard of Oz. It's, it's one of those things that the, the acting is, is more, um, I don't want to say out of touch, but it, it's, it's one of those things to where you got to really listen and see what's going on to, to pick up on what's going on and stuff like that. Because, you know, they... I guess they expect people to know the story so you can kind of go along with it a little bit better. But for the time, how they did the the whole, you know, uh, Ghost of Christmases and stuff like that was really good, really well done. All right, we're getting ready to land here. This is good. I think Bill has got to use the restroom. So, looks like we're not going to be landing on 
dark area. Maybe a little hill. I don't know. Wizard of Oz is, uh, you know, it's been a while since I've seen it. All right, we should be seeing some shoot action here soon. There it is. Bringing back a little science. Oh, we also transmitted, so we should. I have that also. All right, looks a little lumpy down there. I read the book, the movie Wizard of Oz is based on, it seemed much more horror type than a movie to me. Nah. Ugh, excuse me. Looks like uh, livestock trails, you know? across a fun little TV series called The Nevers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Touchdown. And there we are. Sweet. All right. We got science. Oh, let's get out and do some stuff here. Scooby, 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 go. All right. Hey, dude, stop kicking it. Um. And out there, he's going to dig up some dirt. Shake it around a little bit. Firefly was good. I enjoyed it. And then it says we should be able to do that. So this is like Kerbalism, you know, it doesn't immediately run. All right. Go ahead and uh, recover. All right. All right, let's go to mission control. Killjoys was probably my favorite. I, I watched that. I, I was hoping for a second season. So, oh, we did. Oh, we did that. Yay. So that one, 300 signs. Cool. I know the moon. We did it. You did it. It's a collective thing. Oh, I forgot. Auto continue. I wish that would stick. Uh, head to a snack department. Nice. Not edible. No, it's not. See, these landing legs, I think, would have survived. Uh, then we did this. On accident, I guess. And first dibs. That's the oceans, right? Yeah, we did that. Now they want find the source of mysterious signal on the mud. Really? All right. Mysterious signal. I'm up for it. 815 science. Yeah. Um, is there anything in here that I actually need? Yeah, let's unlock probes. Oh, that's a little tiny science junior. Docking port. No. All right, so let's go to level two. We got the mainsail. 
Um, reaction wheel. All right, really small one. Uh, speaking of pen and paper, the free game on Epic yesterday was a text only RPG. Zork? All right, let's figure out what we want here. Nuclear propulsion. Ew. Ew. All right, so if we go here, we got 535, so we can get, is that more science? Small science sampling module could be rapidly attached. All right, sure would like to get more science. Expandable construction, precision dynamics. Yeah, I won't play it either. I hate to say it. All right. Enhanced coupling. Jets. Rovers. All right. So we get the mainsail. So I don't need to lift anything heavy. Then what do we got here? This is the spider, the twitch. Oh, that's mono propellant. Okay. And then the, what's that? The thud. Okay. Expandable solar panels and a big relay. Atmospheric science. For some reason, I want to spend science to get science. Um, actually, where's the big landing legs? Right there. Oh, geez. To unlock that, we have to go there, there, there. Man, I don't have that much science. Atmospheric science, doable power. I'm sorry, this tech tree doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. You gotta spend money to make money. That's for sure. All right, so if I wanna get to here, we have to go here. And then we have to go here. All right. Then we can get closer. What is that? Oh, light strip. Oh, that's cool. All right, let's go see. Um, what are we doing again? An anomaly. Find the source of the mysterious signal on the moon. All right, so. Monitoring our comms, we picked up a mysterious signal. Listen, garbled sounds. Seems to be originating from a fixed point on the surface of the moon. This could be a great scientific. All right, fine, fine, fine. Over and out. Uh, fine. So, I don't know any other reason to build a different rocket than the one we just sent, except for it has really bad landing. Um, I guess we could swap out the solar panels, maybe and get some better. Is that it? That's it. Um, yeah, I, I fixed that. Thanks for reminding me. I we already did fix that. Um, oh no, don't worry. So, people are thinking I should do some, uh,
more on the dampener strength probably oh geez all right so So we've got find the source, plant a flag in an ocean. I don't know if we're going to get them both done. If we look at the moon, moon. Oh, all right. Interesting. There's an actual signal, signal, signal. I don't know. I should probably make a plane to visit the other Kerbin biomes for some exercise. Their mission control. Seems to also have certain triggers needed to unlock me. Oh, really? Oh, 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 okay. It's like when you discover Eve, then all of a sudden you start getting a bunch of Eve stuff. Eve. Let's go ahead and get orbit. What is your favorite waffle? My favorite waffle? I have an answer for that. I appreciate you asking. Three, thanks for asking, or thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. And my waffles, waffles. right there on that one, too. There you go. Are the Kerbal taxpayers aware that the ton of money you spent landscaping and building of artificial islands for the launch? Yes, <laughs> red rocket, red rocket. No, no, that's Fallout.
But it is a red rocket, you're right. Alright, 889 out of 1666. I got too old for uh, South Park. I hate to say it. One of the first, like, seasons or so man it was so hardcore and raunchy and funny of course their uh, scripted world of warcraft one was awesome it's just like beavis and butthead it was uh kind of unique and interesting and funny i thought at first and then i just got to be the same thing over and over How's our orbit? 92 by 118. All right, it's not completely circular. All right, that's where we're going. And um, we've got 762, so not quite enough for the entire burn to get us there. I don't know. It's hard to see what the heck I'm actually clicking on half the time. All I want to do is come in here and grab... All right, let's go ahead and do that for 8.32 and we'll stage in the middle, so. More debris in space. really dark Hey, there's the mun. That's where we're going. All right, we gotta get this stage. Last time we didn't do this, we have to keep burning. All right, let's um, kill that node, turn around. Good enough. Then what we've learned is that 
to get here as soon as possible, you warp to right here. There we go. All right, so there's our indication at a little bit of an inclination. So let's do a maneuver node here. Can't quite see. And um, let's go and pull. And then pull up. Oh, wait, no. Maybe. So that's going to come towards us. Uh, let's see what see what position that puts us in here. Oh, that's in an ocean too. Yay. I got lucky. Four seventeen out of eight fifty one. Can we actually mark locations? No. All right. Here we go. Aloha, hey, yeah, aloha, and da da da. Whatever. All right, then let's get right about here. My brother picked up the old dinosaurs series. You mean not the mama? Let's see here. Let's try that. God, I, I I've forgotten about that. All right, so this a uh, short burn for seventy-seven delta V. We still have four hundred twenty-seven. Looks like we're on track. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, do a node here. Dude. 
Put that back down. I don't know what's... Dude. No. I can't seem to really move the node when I'm... Hang on, let's just do this. And slow down some. Then I want to do uh, think anti normal. Nope. Wrong. Always wrong. Uh, when I was poking around trying to find a new Christmas show to watch lately, there seems to be a whole lot more Christmas horror. And I know, I know, I know. Now, I wonder if it's going to leave the indicator on the ground somewhere so I can actually do this. Oh, that's going to be the last of this stage. Hey, it's right there. Let's get our orientation squared away here so I can, uh, all right, good. I can't target that. Came in a little too high. Yep. I'm going to go this side of it because the planet's drawing towards us. Oh, dude. Oh, that's scary. Looks like what I need to do is actually, um, how do I, need to steer this way a little bit, looks like. That was the wrong way. Oh, 
or so oh is that the arch never knew where it was a little difficulty with my orientation here let's just do this I'm down a little bit too fast it's the arch so twist and there we go one more no 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 other way Let's see if we can stick this a little bit better than last time. So if I have squishy landing legs, should I increase the dampening? Right now it's set to 1.45. Lower it. All right. Uh oh, let's see if we can land. And then figure out what it does. All right, so spring. And I think we're okay or we're just in a really flat spot all right so we need to plant a flag and I'm, I'm assuming this looks like an ocean I don't know go ahead and hop out dude up oh all right And uh, all right, then plant flag next to arch. Where have you been? That plot started the last version of KSP one. Oh yeah, there was there was an arch always on KSP one, but they did the last update. They revealed something underneath the arch, like, you know, uh, something hit it, chipped away the outer and showed this fancy stuff. And supposedly it's some sort of code. We're running our surface sample. All right, we got all that, I think. Oh, wait, that one. Now, that worked. I don't know if we have enough monopropellant to uh, get there. Let's 
reads differently from Yeah, there's people that have built bases on top there. Inactive crash, what? Really? Does that mean my rocket's tipping over? Did my rocket tip over? So we have Kerbin, Jewel, Eve, that Moho. Moho doesn't have a moon, so that'd be Duna. Elu, Sun. There's an X here, and I guess there's an X there too. Uh, we used half of our mono propellant, so we can't fart around. Let's get back to the ship. Is there? Well, I'm gonna have to go in the capsule and get some more mono propellant. Oh, I didn't know, okay. But I don't have a ladder, so I need mono propellant to get up in the capsule. Uh, unless they made it to where you can't get refueled, then uh, we will not be going back. <laughs> Oh, it did. It tipped over. Uh oh. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no. Get in there. Uh. All right, we're out of here. Oh, we got a flag. We can always come back. I don't know. Something makes a noise. I don't know what I'm clicking on when I do that. going to stay in orbit though this is a 373 and we've just got 434 so at least you know, they're not gonna die. You can get a you can get a rescue out here.
All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. Now, can we transmit the science? Oh, we can. Not a whole lot. I'd just rather bring it back. Well, that was fun. All right, we found the archway, planted flag, can revisit again. So, all right. So, like I said, I don't know if I'm doing stationers on Sunday. I'm waiting to hear back from Ben. And uh, uh, so if I stream on Sunday, keep keep you posted in Discord and on Twitter. If you guys don't know what those are, let me post that here real quick. Uh, um, oh, I think that works. There we go. And uh, otherwise, let's roll some credits here. Um, <clears throat> Notable Joe. Thank you so much for the gifted sub to Axel Joe. Thank you so much for the three gifted games on Steam. Appreciate that very much. Guys, thanks to new follows. And if I don't see or talk to you guys, um, you guys have a good Christmas, all right? You're welcome, Saul. I'll see you guys later. Have a good one.